and we're black welcome back to the channel thank you so much for joining me if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell that way you won't miss anything coming from the channel now I'm sure y'all have already read the title to the video and you know what's going on here but allow me to give a tiny bit of backstory so I got my first perm around middle school I believe so I had a perm for a very long time and around 2013, I was like, mm, I'm going to go natural. This perm is kind of boring. Can't really do much with it. So in 2014, I stopped getting perms altogether. I grew my hair out for about a year. And then in 2015, I did my first big chop and cut off all my permed hair. Here I am with my natural fro hawk. So, I'm natural, my hair is flourishing, I'm living my best natural life. For whatever reason, as soon as you go natural, all you want to do is straighten your hair and see your growth and straighten your hair and see your growth and blah, 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 blah. So, I straightened my hair a couple of times before and it kept reverting in like two or three days. So, I got the bright idea to bump up the heat on the flat iron. Bump up the heat on the flat iron worst mistake ever so again natural hair flourishing this is my hair the day before I straightened it and this is my hair the day I straightened it my hair was almost back to the length it was when I was getting perms just need to trim other than that I was loving it I actually didn't realize I had heat damage until I tried to revert this hair it did not revert it did not shrink it did not curl it didn't do anything very traumatic day for me. Heat damage changes your curl pattern. This may look decent, but it's not my original curl pattern. And when it gets wet, it gets very thin. My twist outs don't be popping. It's just no bueno. So I tried for about two years to treat the heat damage. My goal was to get my curl pattern as close to the original as I could. This is as close as I could get. It looks decent in the puff, but out of the puff, it's enough. So around 2019, I thought I cut out most of the heat damage. It came back a little bit, but it still wasn't close enough to the original for me. Obviously, I know it's not going to go back to the original curl pattern, but I thought I could get closer than what I was able to get. So after I cut out the heat damage, I waited about a year to see if things would, you know, be on the up and up. Nothing. So I've come to the conclusion that in order to get my original curl pattern back the way I want it, to have my twist outs looking the way I want them, I'm going to have to get a baldy. So, sit right there. Don't move. I will be right back with my baldy. I don't hate it. Um, kind of pleased with the shape of my head. So I did throw on some makeup to soften the blow a little, I guess. So I guess this is the beginning of my journey back to healthy hair. Obviously, I'm going to document the journey. So if you want to come along, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so this is like a trial wig that I purchased to make sure I can like really do this bald headed thing. What do y'all think? Yes, no. I thought it was a little bit longer than this, but I don't hate it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm going to go get used to being bald, I guess. I'm going to just see how this goes. Thank y'all again for joining me. I'll be back very soon with an update. Okay, bye.